Good morning guys, welcome back. What a beautiful morning it is this morning. So yeah, early start today. Five o'clock alarm call here for about six o'clock. But yeah, just a slight breeze, but nothing too drastic. Some beautiful light coming from behind me. So straight into the photography this morning, shooting this wonderful lily pond with this beautiful arch stone bridge in the background, which is covered in ivy and the like. So yeah, really nice surrounded by beautiful woodland here absolutely fantastic yeah for this shot here there's a couple of options that i could choose really maybe polarize try and take some of the reflections out of the water or i could unpolarize and try to get the reflections of the sky in this shot so i'm going to be experimenting with that over the course of the next 10 minutes or so as the light changes behind me so i don't really have any plans today i didn't set myself any theme for the video just wanted to go out and explore a new location to see what i could come up with yeah no idea what i'm going to shoot this scene just caught my eye as i walked past it and i've literally just got out of the car a couple of minutes ago so yeah i think it's a nice one to start the day and then we'll uh, have a wander amongst these wonderful lakes here just surrounded by these beautiful woodlands and see what else we can capture today so this shot fairly straightforward i'm about 50 mil f10 focusing on these lily pads down here position the lily pads in such a way that the eye gets drawn through the scene there's a meandering of pathways through the scene and that takes the eye down to the stone arch bridge at the end so nice and simple uh but i think yeah i think it's a decent image to start the day off I'll grab this one now and just as a duck lands right in the middle of the composition <laughs> Right, I'll wait until the duck has uh, calmed the water down a little bit. And here comes another duck. <laughs> Brilliant. Just walking on this trail and this patch of reeds caught my eye and I thought, you know what, I'm going to get the camera out and I'm going to take a shot of it. And yeah, it's quite an interesting one really. Almost abstract I would say. The sky is quite overcast and it's reflecting in the water here and it's completely still, there's not a ripple apart from the odd fish jumping out. And now and again in the, in the area here where the reeds are, there's a little bit of blue sky showing as it coming through the clouds. So it's given it the impression that the reeds are almost floating in the sky. So it's a little bit of an ab abstract shot. Uh, it's ever such a simple composition. Literally the reeds are right in the middle of the frame. I'm just allowing a bit of space all the way around few issues I've got a couple of little branches on the right hand side that doesn't matter where I position the tripod I can't seem to eliminate those so I'll probably end up just taking a couple of little twigs out in photoshop when I get back but yeah it's a interesting little scene definitely worth shooting before I uh, wander up the trail and see if I can find something else settings wise it's super simple uh, in terms of focal length 35 mil f10 should speed is 40 to the second ISO 160. Yeah, so super, super simple. A few people have been asking me how I've been getting on with the Tamron 18 to 300 millimeter lens. So far, fine. A couple of little issues I've had. I've noticed that when I've got it on the tripod, the lens stabilization tends to give a blurry image. So I've had to go into the menu and turn the image stabilization off not the ibis like the xc3 doesn't have ibis it's the optical image stabilization in the lens so i have to go into the menu and manually turn that off when it's locked down on the tripod so it's just something to think about um, don't have to do that with the fuji lenses but anyway yeah i digress let's uh let's take this shot now i've noticed as well that 
this lens seems to do better with a 10 second timer on, especially when I'm zoomed in a little bit more than the two second timer. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> anyway, let's see what else we can find further on on the trail. Let's have a seat. Time for a coffee, guys. Time for a coffee. Where are we? In here somewhere. Here we go. Well, oh, what an absolutely beautiful morning. So I've been walking for a while, actually, and I've struggled to come up with another image, but I'm hopeful back up that way there was more potential. But obviously, every hour that passes, the sun gets higher. We're now getting towards early summer so uh, the light can become quite harsh however there's a fair bit of cloud about so i'm hopeful that because it's broken cloud we can shoot between the patches of bright light and maybe get a nice diffused shot maybe a woodland shot as well a few of you guys have uh, asked me about how the calendar's going if i'm still doing it a couple of weeks back i sent out an email on my newsletter with a little bit of information about the uh, how the calendar's going and the whole process behind it so it's quite an involved process, obviously, putting something like this together. But I have found a print that I'm really happy with, so that's really good. That's what the first step, really. Uh, one, t The big one ticked off the list, if you like. I've got seven or eight images I'm really happy with so far that are definitely going in there. And through the remainder of the year, I'll be working hard to get the final images ready. Um, I think it should be going on pre-sale towards mid-October and it's going to be A3, so quite large. And I'm really focusing on quality over quantity. I want to make this a really nice piece of artwork that looks great on the wall and obviously then you can use as a calendar. So I say it's my first calendar I've ever produced. I can't wait to put it together and get it on pre-sale. All of my pre-sale orders will be signed and there will be a 10% discount as well. So look out for that in October. Also, if you fancy signing up for my mailing list, if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss out on anything, please be sure to do so. The link for that is down below. But I'm gonna take a minute, drink this coffee, and then see if we can get another image this morning. I'm hopeful that we can. These spring greens are looking absolutely amazing. So I'm sure there's another image here. Be great to get a woodland shot actually. Yeah, be nice. I've been walking for some considerable time since I last spoke to you. My legs are in bits. But anyway, yeah, conditions have been so difficult. I found some amazing subjects, but this blue sky and this very much overhead sunlight is becoming very, very difficult. So I've decided to finish off this vlog with a very intimate shot looking through the woodland. Really, it's the light that drew me to the image and often that's often the case isn't it it is one of those that looks decent on the back of the camera but i suspect when i get back to the computer it's not going to give me that same feeling i think mainly because it looks quite painterly here on the back of the camera but i think maybe it'll be a bit more contrasty when i get back on the big screen and it's essentially we've got two trunks one's a beach i think maybe the other one's a redwood and we're looking through this glade here so we're just catching the tops of these long grasses and yeah there's some light in the background and the branches are all moving around we've got those beautiful spring greens and there's just some light interacting with the leaves behind and the, and the tree trunks as well so i think it's an image to finish off the vlog and and that's the main thing so i'm going to go ahead and take this final image now while the light is good and the wind is somewhat calmer when I've displayed my image, I'll be showing the 10 challenge winners from the monthly challenge over at the Photographer's Clubhouse. So it's great to get out with the camera today. Really enjoyed not having a theme or any preconceived ideas of what I was going to shoot. I think that allowed me to be a little bit more creative, which is always nice. 
So guys, if you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing if you haven't done so already. And also please do consider checking out the Photographers Clubhouse where we learn, share and inspire one another to create amazing photos. Anyway guys, until next time, take care and I'll see you soon.